I don't think I've shown you the new Sony TV that I got here in the studio, but it is so crisp. Basically, it feels like you're looking through a window. Whoa. I'm back on Iceland! Talk about immersive experience. Whew. I don't know if you can see this here, but when I was with Alex in the playground, I was running dead on, <clears throat> pole straight into the head. It hurt, but at least it didn't make a bigger mark. That's good, huh? You know, one of the first flat screen TVs that I had was a 32 inch LCD TV. This monitor right here, 32 inches. This was the same size of a monitor that I had at home in, like, as my first TV. And it was a flat screen TV. It was basically this thick, but back then you did call them flat screen TVs. And this is a really good monitor. I think that it's actually one of the best monitors that you can get, but it's basically made for video editors and color grading and making sure that everything is experienced very accurate. And I do make all my color grading on this monitor, but when it comes to actually experiencing the content that I produce, I think that having a really good TV is basically the equivalent of printing your own photos, but as a videographer. And that is why I want to talk about this TV from a filmmaker's or content creator's perspective, because that is what I do on a daily basis. And most of the videos that I create are shot on Sony cameras as well. And one of the cool things when it comes to this TV is that it actually works in symbiosis with the Alpha lineup. As you probably know, I've been shooting with the Sony A6000 series for a long time. I then stepped up to the A7R and then the A7 III and then the A7S III that I'm shooting with right now. And to be able to get the best image quality possible when you're playing it back on a TV, having a Bravia TV is gonna give you that pop that you wanna have in your footage. And as you probably know, there's a bunch of different TVs that you can get right now, but one of the things that OLED has that no other TV has is that superb contrast because OLED is organic light emitting diode, which means that each and every one of the diodes are lit up individually. And it basically creates this immense contrast to your image because all the black areas are kind of like turned off and all the really vibrant areas are shown as they're supposed to be shown. So there's no like grayed out areas on the entire screen. This monitor, for example, is an IPS monitor and it looks really good. But when you compare it to the Bravia TV, there's no competition when it comes to the contrast. One thing that there's been a huge discussion about when it comes to OLED TVs is that they don't have enough brightness. But as you can see right here, I'm having the doors open. We have a studio light here in the ceiling. And I have experienced absolutely zero issues when it comes to watching my movies back and just enjoying them, even though we have bright daylight coming in. And this TV in particular is definitely providing you with a good enough brightness to have in your living room or wherever you want with this bright daylight. Of course, the dust looks the absolute best when you have a little bit of dimmed light but it still works as a daily driver without any issues. And I've tried a bunch of different panel types throughout the years, but for the last two years, all the content that I've been shooting 
has actually been previewed on Sony OLED TVs. And the reason for that is because I've always found them to be providing the best image quality possible when it comes to how I want my videos to look. And it's also one of those things when I'm shooting a short film or when I'm making a video that I'm really proud of, I wanna show it off, not on a small, like, tiny cell phone screen because that doesn't give it justice. I wanna show it off in the best setting possible. And that's where this comes in because it has something that is called the Cognitive Processor XR. And what it does is that it improves the overall image that TV shows and gives you more depth to the actual video. It analyzes the entire image, basically the color, the contrast, and the clarity, and even the focal point of the actual image. So if you're watching this right now, then I am in focus. That This is what we call the focal point. And this over here is blurred out. And what the Cognitive Processor XR does is that it processes this part of the image to give it a little bit more sharpness, a little bit more pop, and enhance the overall image to provide you with an even deeper immersion when you're watching the content that you decide to watch. And the cool thing is that this not only works with content that shots on the Sony cameras, but all the videos that you're watching. The TV is basically doing this in real time, so you don't realize it, but it helps you to get a better immersive experience when you're watching the TV. I do like the fact that this controller is simple to use. You have all different buttons that you want to access. You have YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, and also it doesn't have too much. It's one of those small things, you know, that I enjoy, that the remote is just small and easy to use. It doesn't have to be bigger than that. I usually sit here and review all my stuff. For example, the FX30 video. Once I was done with this, I just started it up here on TV, making sure that everything looks good and everything is graded correctly, even though I've been looking through it on my monitor. And having the possibility to do so also means that I can watch the content the way that it is supposed to be watched whenever my audience, or you in this case, watches my videos. And I think it's a great way to really see your content in the way that it's meant to be seen. Basically the same thing as printing a photo as a photographer, I think that watching your video on a good TV set is kind of the same feeling for a videographer. And as I said in the beginning, you know, making videos is a huge process and you gotta plan stuff, you gotta choose the right focal lengths, you gotta make sure that you have the right stuff in the video and the right color grade and all of that stuff. So to look it back on something like this is something that means a lot for me, especially when I can invite my family or my dad to look through what I've created or what we've created and then show them how my videos are supposed to look in the best way possible. And for someone that enjoys watching movies a whole lot and playing video games, I think that having a TV that can really recreate what the filmmaker wants you to see is something that Sony has really achieved when it comes to this TV. I'm gonna wrap a link down below so you can head over there and check it out if you're in the market for a new TV. This option comes highly recommended. Thanks so much for watching. All the best and I uh, hope you subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Va? I will see you in the next video. Peter Franz Wieden, say goodbye.